Let's see, you have quite a nice job. You're the president of Piper Heidsieck. How do you come president of a champagne house? First, you need to be French. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, we just need to say yes. I was offered the position and I said yes. Because I think if you're French and you can promote the French lifestyle and the French gastronomy and what the French does best, champagne is certainly going to be part of it. And then I think there's another yes that happened at Pepper Heights. Think you have a yes with the Academy. You are now providing champagne for the Oscar Absolutely. for three years. Absolutely. I don't know how you got that. We don't want to know. We just want to know what champagne you're going to be serving Sunday. There's there's three different ones. I think it's well, going to go. Just let me first tell you that it's a comeback. We've been here already. 1991, 92, 98. We were already the champagne of the Oscars. So we're just back. And we're Really, really happy with that. I'm sure you are. Yeah. So, what are we going to uh, serve? We're going to start for the pre cocktail. Uh, the guests will be served with our flagship champagne, yeah. which is the Brut Red Label, Yellow, I'm uh, sorry, Golden Top, and Black. What else do you have at yeah. the Oscars? Dog right. like, like the statuette, and red like the red carpet. carpet. So, that's what we're about. And then when then there's a dinner, the then, governor's ball, exactly. right? Then there is the governor's ball. There we will have the crème de la crème. We'll have our best prestige cuvée, rare, Piper Heidsieck rare, vintage 2002, which is really, really, really one of our best wines in history. And can the guests go home with that bottle? That bottle is so beautiful that it's, it's very beautiful. Like it's like you don't want to put it in the trash. You want to. But the Go wine, home. the wine it's inside is yeah. as beautiful. Well, I'm sure the wine is matches the. Yeah, and you're well, right. you had to match the wine with the uh, the look of the bottle. And many people, you're right. Many people like to keep the bottle. Maybe, maybe I'll get one. <laughs> <laughs> and then dessert, right? Yes. No, there's after party. No, there is a dessert. dessert. And for the dessert, uh, Wolfgang Puck will be really, uh, you know, from Spago, uh, who uh, really runs the whole dinner. Will uh, serve. Uh, chariot of desserts and with the desserts we'll have our famous rosé sauvage which means wild rosé. Why wild? Tell me. It's, it's not it's not a, it's not a pale rosé it's a really uh, uh, strong rosé with a lot of personality still very fruity very nice but has a has a real color and it's very fashionable today. So why is it so dark? Is there an explanation? Because we put more red wine in it and that's what makes great great rosy wines. So, so it's more on the Tavel side than on the Provence side. It's a real wine which is lovely. Let's be clear, you are the exclusive champion of the Academy Awards, right? That's going to be served at the uh, Dolby Theatre. Dolby Theatre. Absolutely. Dolby Theatre and in, in Los Angeles. Then a lot obviously outside the theatre where there are screening parties and where there are a lot of places where the, the Oscars are going to be celebrated, but also whenever the, the Academy is going to be around the world, we'll be there, we can be in New York, we can be in London, and uh, eventually we'll even look, looking at Cannes. So now give me numbers. On Sunday, how many bottles you're going to serve? Do you know? Do you have an idea? Enough for everyone. <laughs> and, <laughs> and because the, the champagne will be really appreciated, we have planned between 1,500 and 2,000 bottles. Of the mix of the three? Now, there is one that, which is going to be very, very, very small number. And this is this one here. Red. Oh, the rare. Another year, a different year. Yeah, vintage 1988. So who's going to get that one? Almost 30 years of age. So this one is, is going to be served only in the engraving room to the winners. When the winners go to have their statuette being engraved, they will be offered a, a glass of champagne of Piper Heights Square 1988 and then they will receive one bottle with their name on it and they will be able to bring home. Yeah, they're going to so open the bottle? I hope so. <laughs> but that's that's really something very, very special. So that one that's maybe limited Well, yeah, because that, com that comes that comes from our other tech. It's not it's not on the market. It will never be on the market anymore. Oh, and I'm holding the bottle. Maybe be careful. Uh, I have a purse. I can put it in there. <laughs> but I mean, that's exactly what the Academy Award um, leading team did and that's that's one of the reasons why we got um, you know into this adventure because they absolutely love the fact that we have such a great wine red and red and gold 
then the rare, which is beautiful in that bottle, and then that amazing, amazing, uh, special wine for the winners. So now I think we should drink, and I think I'm going to open I the agree. bottle, if you don't mind, yes. my way, right? Yes. Is that okay? Why not? So I'm going to open the, the bottle of um, the, brut? the cocktail. So, Woo. shall I take the glass? You may take the glass. So, and the winner is Piper Right. No, because there is no champagne without a toast. And you know, in France, when we're happy, as you know very well, what do we say? Grand soit la vie.